This is one of my favorite sweaters, and Cards Against Humanity Family Edition is one of my kids' new favorite games. Let's talk about it. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review, and today I'm very excited to check out Cards Against Humanity, the Family Edition. This is for ages 8 plus. Take about 30 to 90 minutes to play, and it's going to be for 4 to 20 plus players. And Cards Against Humanity Family Edition is, quite literally, the family edition of Cards Against Humanity. The game where one person each round will be a judge. They will play a black card. They'll pick a black card. They'll read it out loud. Then everyone's going to look through their hands, and they're going to lay down a card. The judge will take all the cards, mix them up, read them out loud. Everyone will laugh, and then pick their favorite and they will get the point, and then you keep going to X number of points, whatever you want to play to. And that's the Cards Against Humanity formula, but this is the Family Edition. Now, I know the first thing that's probably coming to your mind, at least it came to mind, was uh, I thought that was actually called Apples to Apples. And yes, you would be correct. However, I will say, I will clarify right now, that this is right in there. So this is Cards Against Humanity, the, the, the adult edition. This is Apples to Apples. And in this space right here, actually, I would say closer to like this space right here, is Cards Against Humanity, the family edition. What that means is, while it's not exactly G, it's, you know, it's not R. It's, there's, some, there's some PG-13 in there. There's a lot of double entendres. That's really where they get you on these. There's a lot of them that, that the kids... Who don't know about certain things yet because they're not adults uh you know like paying taxes and whatnot uh <laughs> there are a lot of things in there that, that are they're in that strap that middle ground but if you want to see exactly what i'm talking about click on the link up here or up there it's the bauer family learns i played this with my family we had an absolute blast but this is the review so let's go over the pros let's go over the cons first on the con side if you don't like the basic apples to apples or Cards Against Humanity formula. If you don't think that's a fun game, you know, with someone being a judge, picking the cards, that just not your tickle your fancy, this one's not going to be for you. It's just straightforward. Because this is quite literally the exact same game, but with different cards. You could use this as an expansion, and that's something that I did want to mention as well, that you can get this as a standalone game, and you could mix these cards in with the expansion, and I'm sure you'd have just as much fun. I mean, it's just, it's just more cards. And in fact, these might actually be cards from Cards Against Humanity, and they just took out all the... I bet that's might be, that might be what it is. Uh, but anywho, still you can use an expansion. Whatever. Also, the backs are different enough that you can easily sort them out, which I like as well. Another con that I have with this game that is if you're expecting this to be G-rated. It is not. And I want to I wanna, I wanna very specifically say that. You know, it's like... You know, eating spaghetti out of mom's... The, wait, there's not... I don't think it's eating spaghetti out of mom's butt. But there's like a mom's butt card. Yeah, I think it's eating spaghetti out of someone's butt crack or something like that. Like, it, it pushes the grossness and like the... Eh, and so funny aspect of the game. Um, so it, it's pressing a little bit. And I will say, I played it with my five-year-old and my eight-year-old. And I have somewhat of a crude sense of humor... Uh, I'm a little bit rough around the edges, if you could not tell. So, while it does say uh, ages 8 plus, you can play this with younger kids. You know, there's some things where it might be like, nothing worse than what you're going to see in your typical animated movie fodder. That's what I'm saying right here. Like, you know how sometimes it's like, you know, like, ow, he wakes up in somebody's butt crack or something like that, and it's like, okay. Like, pretty much, that's about as bad as it gets here. Any other cons that I have with the game? Oh, last con I have with this game, but that's more of a Cards Against Humanity con, uh, but also a segue to the pros, so I'll do it anyway, is that, you know, uh, there's no strategy in this game at all. There's none. I mean, you can quite literally pick a card randomly from your hand, and you might win. You never know. In fact, in that aforementioned video with my family, my five-year-old, who doesn't know how to read, uh, we let them play, and they just, they just picked random cards based on, you know, what he thought they might be i don't know and he won the game <laughs> he won the stinking game so moving on to the pros though that's actually a huge pro with this game is that uh <clears throat> most of these cards are bangers these are great cards and you if you played cards against humanity or apples well mostly cards against humanity on this particular one if you played that game then you know what a banger is it's like one of those cards where you get it and you're like yes this is most likely going to be a point uh if i play it at the right time so now i just have to hold on to this card and wait for that juicy juicy moment where i'm going to feel like a comical genius you know what i'm talking about if you play the game 
Uh, and, and yeah, this game has a lot of those. Now, I do want to, uh, so I'm going to do the pros, but I do want to, I do want to do a couple of these so you can get a real feel for what the cards are. So, right. All right. Which one of you little turds is responsible for blank? Which one of you little turds is responsible for blank? So let's get, let's say we got ourselves a four player game. Let's get three cards. All right. Which one of you little turds is responsible for balls? <laughs> what? All right. Which one of you little turds is responsible for squirty cheese? All right, which one of you little turds is responsible for poison? And all right, which one of you little turds is responsible for having no friends? So that one didn't particularly work out well. But uh, there's a lot of really good ones in here. There's a lot of funny ones. There's tons and tons and tons of giggles. And let's, I want to focus more on this uh, from my family perspective. But before I get into that, I do want to mention one more on the con side. If you're looking at this as a party game, uh, I played it with one small group of adults, and we all agreed, yeah, we'd probably be rather playing the regular version of Cards Against Humanity if you're just looking at this as a party game. But that being said, it still was fun. We still laughed. It was still a good time. I want to I specify that. But moving on to the pros, um, my newly turned five-year-old and my seven-year-old absolutely enjoyed this game. They thought it was the funniest thing in the world. It is one of both of their favorite games of all time now, and they played a good deal of games. And that's really what you need to know here. Like that, I'm not trying to, bear, you know, I feel like I buried the lead here. This is so much silly family fun. For, for what, $20, $25, 500 cards, tons and tons of cards. It is just a great time. Parents are going to have fun. As long as you understand going into this, there's going to be some inappropriate humor, but nothing too bad. And I've, I've looked through probably most of the cards at this point. You know, because I was just getting a good feel for them. And there wasn't anything I was like, ooh, I'll take that one out. It, they were all, I feel like they straddled this incredibly thin line. And I'd like to, I'm going to, I, you know, Cards Against Humanity, uh, the company itself that runs Cards Against Humanity, has put out some really great games. And I bet you they did some really good play testing where they they actually played with families or with kids. And they like saw, all right, does, how uncomfortable or comfortable does you make did this make you feel? And I really wish, I would love to see some sort of behind the scenes of how they came up with this. Why did this come into existence? I think that'd be fascinating because if I had my prediction, there, there's actually another game called Cards Against Maturity. And it's just, it's exactly what you think it is. It's 100% what you think it is. And... I'm going to guess that they saw that that was the most popular, one of the most popular games on Amazon, and were like, "Oh hell no, we gotta dip our fingers into this," um, and they did, and it's very fun. It will go on my shelf, and it will probably be on my shelf for a very long time because I did get rid of Cards Against Humanity at one point, and I do kind of regret that because I enjoy it, but I still think Say Anything is just a better party game personally because it, uh, and the fact that they haven't made a Say Anything After Dark is just just beyond beyond comprehension to me, but. Cards Against Humanity Family Edition. Totally getting off the topic. Great family weight game. It's a lot of fun, as long as you don't mind the inappropriate nature of the game. And uh, I, I, my kids absolutely adored it. So there you go. Cards Against Humanity Family Edition. It looks like it might be for you. Please be sure to check it out. I got an Amazon link down below. If you click on that Amazon and buy it, I get like a nickel. It's awesome. Not like they don't like mail me a nickel, but it goes into an account somewhere. Uh, and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. <laughs>